The flowing passage of water is a reminder of the cycle of life. We are all passing through, and who knows, may well be passing through again and again. During its passage, the river can be hasty, turbulent and shallow, and then gentle, serene and deep. As a young boy, I spent much of my time by the river, where I could have my own quiet thoughts. As an adult, I spent some time by the river, on one small stream in particular, helping a good friend restore a water mill in Wales and bring it back to life. But sadly, he passed away this year, and just as the very water that is experienced in a moment of time as it passes through the water wheel, the mill has its own life and is also transient. Inevitably, it is up for sale, but like the water is re-energised when new people reside and make their mark. Well, Mike Godsell made his mark at Dryfer Mills in West Wales, and who knows what will flow through that water in its constant cycle of life at the water mill that he restored, and with a little help from myself. The gift of life is in that crystal clear stream, forever changing and re-energising. About two or three hours literally figuring out how on earth we're going to do it. He doesn't seem to show any fear for heights, and there's no way I would be up in that sort of position without an aeroplane. Crossover the straight here, which is Sri Lanka, Colombo. So the individual waypoints or places of the latitude longitude. Time, estimated time of arrival. Uh, I was going to say airborne to give Jeremy some idea of when the wheels actually came off the ground. Did you hear the click? Yes. The click is the actual the wheels leaving the ground, which is some time after we pull rotate. Come a long way to the centre of Bombay. What, uh, what have you managed to find? Successfully, in this package, have two antique oilers of the same vintage as my water mill. I'm feeling a bit uh, topsy turvy. Oh, you're uh, making me feel you better take the camera. I'll show you the. In fact, now I'm back on safe ground or land again, I can uh, see this rather fine bit of concrete uh, ducting that you've. Uh, cast over there. So in fact now I'm walking upstream along the chute so in fact if I turn round we can see the chute as it disappears down there. And this is going upstream, cast concrete and this is where the water will come down. I see, so this is where the water comes in. This is it. And the pipe is there, it goes under the road and then out and back into the river. Yes. And you can see the entrance to the pipe. There's only a trickle at the moment, there's only a little tiny bit of water being let through. So when you've completed this, uh, uh, you'll divert the water presumably from that pipe to come down here? Well, what I have to do is to make a sluice gate which will lift up or down to close off the pipe. When it's closed, the water level will rise. It'll rise to about that sort of height. Yes. And it'll run along and then feed the wheel. Hmm, marvellous.